Hello everyone, welcome to Amar Jyoti's Crochet World. Today I am here once again with my new tutorial. Today I am going to make a beautiful project. It's a pine cone. Let's make a beautiful pine cone with scales. It's a big one. So for it's a, an amigurumi. So for making this beautiful pine cone, we need acrylic yarn. I am taking acrylic yarn. You can take any cotton yarn also, but I am making it a uh, yellow color. You can take any color, brown, pink, yellow, green, red, any color. So I am taking this yellow color, 4 ply acrylic yarn. The crochet hook that I am going to use is 3.5 mm crochet hook. A pair of scissors to cut all the ends and a tapestry needle to sew the ends. So quickly, let's begin making it. It's a very easy, very uh, big anigrumi project, but uh, it's very easy, beginner friendly. Uh, it's made in with crocodile stitch. So with this project, you'll uh, learn how to make this crocodile stitch. Right? So let's make it. And uh, the other thing is you need the fiber filling to fill inside. So first of all, make chain 2. 1, 2. In the second chain from the hook, make 7 single crochet. 1, 2. In the same uh, stitch, make 7 single crochet. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you don't want to make like this, you can make a magic circle and then make 7 single crochet in that. Make slip stitch in the first stitch. So your circle with 7 single crochet has been done. Second row, chain 3. After making chain 3, 1 double crochet in the same stitch. So for second round, we are going to make double crochet. In the first round, we work with single crochets. In the second round, we are going to work with two uh, with double crochet. So we are going to make two double crochet in each of the 7 stitches. Right? In each stitch, make two double crochet. So we have seven stitches in total. So after making two double crochet in each of the stitches, you will be having 14 double crochet. Two stitches left. Make two double crochet. In each of the stitches, so you will be having 14 double crochet in total. So this is your 14 double crochet and slip stitch in the third chain from the starting. So it will take a bit curvy shape. So this will give your cone a curvy shape. This is a bottom up project. So we are going to start from here and we will reach over here. Right? So we have made the base for it. Now row number 3 chain 1. Now we are going to work one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the next. Again one single crochet in the first, one in the second, one in the third and two in the next. So we will repeat this. One single crochet in first two stitches, two single crochet in the third, one single crochet in the next three stitches and two in the fourth. So this way we are going to complete the 14 stitches. Again repeating the same thing, one in the first, one in the second, two in the third. Then one in the first, one in the second, one in the third and in the last stitch make two single crochet. So total we are having slip stitch in the first stitch. So total we will be having, we have covered 14 stitches and in total we have 18 stitches. Let me count for you. Just a second, it gets inside. Uh, in the last we are making two single crochet and slip stitch in the first. Right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. 18 stitches in total in the round number 3. Now we are going to start with these scales of pines. For making these scales we are using crocodile stitch. So we are going to start from here the crocodile stitch. So this is row number 4. I am going to make chain 3 and make one double crochet in the same stitch. Right? So we are going to make two double crochet in the same stitch. So chain 3 is considered as our first double crochet and the second double crochet in the same stitch. This creates a kind of V. Right? So after that make five double crochet. That is one double crochet in next five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. Right? Now again in the next stitch make two double crochet. This creates again a V. This V will be used. This V, this V and another one will be made in next. Uh, this will be used for making your crocodile stitch. Right? So after making V, make one double crochet in next five stitches. Two, three, after this was V and three, four, five. After that, again make two double crochet in the same stitch. That is a V. After that, make five double crochet, one double crochet in next five stitches. Two, three, four, five. slip stitch in the third chain from the starting. Now your base for making a crocodile stitch is done. Now we have reached the V, first V. Now we are going to make the first scale. These are the big one scales. So we are going to make slip stitch. This is your chain 3. So making a slip stitch over here chain 3 just a second slip stitch in the loop here I am making a slip stitch chain 3 chain 3 will be considered as our first double crochet now how to make a crocodile stitch or a, uh, this pine cones scale we are going to work this is the V we are going to work in this loop of first loop of V and the second loop of V now how we are going to make is fold it like this one that I have made chain 3 over here by slip stitching in uh, this loop in the first uh, loop of V four more double crochet one is chain three and rest four more double crochets three so four so total five one two three four and five chain one turn your work this side now you have this loop the corresponding v now hold that loop And work on that. Make five double crochet in that. One, two, three, four, five. Right? After making this will be your crocodile stitch like this. See these ones. These we have done like this. After that make chain 1 and now skip the next 5 double crochet and find the another V. This is your another V. This 2 double crochet in the same stitch. So hold the first loop like this and make 5 double crochet in that. 1, 2, 3, four five chain one 
Now turn your work to this side. Now hold the second loop of V and make double crochet in that, five double crochet in that. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Chain one. Now again skip five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll reach the next V. This V. Again, make five double crochet in the first loop of your V. One, two, three, four, five. Chain one and turn your work to the side, the other loop of V. Make five double crochet in that. One, two, three, four, five. Chain one and slip stitch in the core top stitch of your first scale. Like this, you'll see you have made the first scale or the uh, first uh, crocodile stitch of your pine cone. Right? Now, chain 1. Now I am going to do is, as we had twin, uh, 18 stitches in the last round, but uh, after making like this, now we are going to make an increase. Uh, I am uh, increasing it to 24 stitches. Right? So I am going to make one single crochet in first stitch. One, you have to just adjust your stitches. One in second and two in the third. So this sequence you have, you have to follow and make 24 stitches in total. So one, two, three and four. Right? One, one and two. So uh, I am going to make five, six, seven and eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and slip stitch in the first stitch. So in this way you have made 24 stitches. In somehow you have to skip any of the stitches or just see where you can find proper stitches and make a 24 stitches. Right? Now we are going to make the some increase and uh, then make the second level of your pine cone scales. Now I'm going to uh, make chain three, right? And one double crochet in the same stitch. That is, we have made one V. This is the second uh, level for making your pine cones. Now again, make five double crochet. One, two, three. 4, 5. Right. After making 5 double crochet, again make a V or 2 double crochet in the same stitch. Again make 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And make a V. That is 2 double crochet in the same stitch. The basic gap between two scales will be 5 double crochet. 3, 4, 5 and 2 double crochet in the next. Again making 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4 and in the last stitch 1 fifth. Slip stitch. Either you can slip stitch in the third stitch of chain 3 or you can make a slip stitch like this. Hold the loop like this and make a slip stitch like this. So in this way you can make your starting off 
uh, scale. So like this make chain 3. This first chain 3 is your first double crochet and in this loop make rest 4 double crochet. 2, 3, 4. So your starting off scale has been done. Chain 1. Now turn your work like this and double crochet in the second loop of your V. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1. Skip next 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in the 6th stitch, that is your V, the first loop of V, hold the loop like this and make a double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 has been done. This is acrylic yarn, that is why it gets like this. 4 and 5. Chain 1 and make 5 double crochet in the corresponding second loop of V. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1. Skip next 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you have found the V. Take the first loop of V and hold it like this. And then make double crochet. 5 double crochet. 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1 and then bring your hook to the this side of V and hold it with your hook and start making double crochet in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1. Again make uh, skip 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you have found the V. Hold the first loop in your hook. Now you have found the space. Now make 5 double crochet in that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1. Turn your work to this side. Hold the loop like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1 and slip stitch in the third chain. Like this you can take the one of the stitch at the base also to make it more firm like this. So that's it. You have made the second level of your pine cone. Now chain 1. Right. Now we are going to uh, make one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and in the next make two double crochet. One, uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So like this we are going to make 30 stitches in total. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, the last stitch, 29, 30 and slip stitch in the first stitch. 
so total 30 stitches so basically we are going to repeat like this in the first round we had seven stitches in the second round we increased it to double crochet by making two double crochet in each of the seven single crochet 14 after making 14 we worked for single crochet in each of the stitches right so in after 14 we increased it to 18 after 18 we increased it to 21 for making the scales over the scales we increased with single crochet making it to 24 so on 24 single crochet i have made double crochets right and those double crochets were uh, for making the scales and on that stitches we have increased this much we have reached 30 stitches now again making the next level of your scales chain 3 as our first double crochet second double crochet in the same stitch this V has been created again make 5 double crochet 2 3 4 5 now in the next make 2 double crochet this V has been created again make 5 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 in the next make 2 double crochet a V has been created again make 5 double crochet 2 3 4 5 and in the next make 2 double crochet in the next make 1 2 3 4 5 and in the next make 2 double crochet so that is your V and in the last 5 stitches make five, 1 uh, double crochet 3 4 and 5 right in the first level we had 3 scales in the second level we had 4 scales in the third level we will be having 5 scales in the fifth level we will be having uh, we will be in, if you want to make it a bigger one you can make as many big one so i am going to make 5 then again uh, leaving it uh, increasing it mm, yes again in uh, making the 5 one then 6 and like that I am going to making an increase and then we will close it down as a pine cone. So one more time I am going to show you how to make a uh, scale. So I am not going to slip stitch like this. I am going to take in the loop like this and then making a slip stitch chain 3 as our first double crochet and in this loop only make rest of the 4 double crochet 3 4 and 5 total 5 double crochet including your chain 3's and then chain 1 now the other loop of V take the loop like this sometimes you will feel it like tricky but when you are uh, used to it uh, it's that easy it looks very beautiful chain one like that finish this for uh, this row by for making this crocodile stitch now you have one V and then second V third V fourth V and fifth V so in this row you will be having five scales five pine scales right so reach this end i'll show you what to do now i have made a slip stitch now then this round i'm again going to make five scales like see one two three in the first one two three four in the second one two three four and five in the third so the fourth level i am going to uh, maintain with five uh, scales only so right now i am making one single crochet in each of the 30 stitches one two three no increase this time four five six 
six. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and the last stitch. Make one double, one single crochet, thirty. Slip stitch in the first stitch. Again, I am going to repeat the same thing. Thirty stitches I have. Make chain three as first double crochet, and one more double crochet in the same stitch and again five double crochet and two double crochet five double crochet and two double crochet i'm going to repeat the same thing as i have repeated in this row with five scales so make the same row as of this row with v and five stitches v and five stitches and then making scales in the same way so come after making this same row as of the third level with five scales now i have repeated the same uh, row with five scales one two three four and five now we are going to increase one more time making six scales if you want to keep it like this just make one more row with that then we will decrease it but otherwise i'm going to make one more scale with uh, six scales in the next level then we will start decreasing it so we are going to increase it chain one and make one single crochet in each of the uh, four stitches one two three and four and in the next make two single crochet five six seven eight nine ten and eleven twelve so in this way we will be having forty two stitches in total twelve okay 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 all oh right we have 36 stitches sorry sorry after making 30 i have increased and uh, the total number of single crochet will be 36 sorry I made a mistake after that chain three double crochet in the same again make one double crochet in next five stitches two three four five my counting got last round so after that when we will increase it will go to 36 then after making that 36 single crochet on that we are going to make the V that is two double crochet in the same stitch and then five double crochet in each stitches and then a V and then one single uh, one double crochet in the next five stitches so in this way uh, four and five in this way finish uh, this whole row and you will be having a, a six V's for making six scales right and then on that make crocodile uh, stitch or these scales in the similar way as you are making till now right you will be having six scales in this row now i have made six scales in the first level i have made three scales second level four scales fifth level um, second uh, first second third third level we have five scales fourth level again i have maintained the fifth uh, five scales 
and in the next level I have made six scales after making six scales I am going to decrease it once again and bringing it to five scales now we have done six scales now we are going to make uh, five scales once again so this is the way I have made this these scales and then chain one this time I am bringing the number to the number of single crochet to uh, 30 once again and because last time it was increased to 36 now I am going to decrease it again to 30 so how to decrease it one single crochet in first one in second one in third and one in fourth after that make two single crochet together how to make two single crochet together insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull the loop again insert your uh, hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull the loop you have three loops in the hook yarn over and pull three all pull through all the three loops this is the one way the other way to decrease it is this hold the first front loop of first loop front loop of second loop uh, second stitch and then yarn over and pull through the loop and this is the way this way also you can decrease it so what we are going to do is one single crochet in first four stitches and in the fifth and sixth we are going to make a, a mm, single crochet together so mm, we have done one two three four and five we have to make 30 stitches in total so six seven eight nine and two stitches together like this 10 11 12 13 14 and two together 15 16 17 18 19 and two together 20 21 22 23 24 and two together 25 26 27 28 just a second uh, 26 27 28 29 and 2 together making a oops 30 and slip stitch in the first stitch so total we have decreased to 30 once again so in this 30 stitches again make scales 5 scales like this as we have made earlier chain 3 and one single crochet uh, one double crochet in the same stitch and again making five double crochet one two three four five then we in the next again five double crochet two three four five and two in the next so this way finish it off and you will be having 35 double crochet in total and on those uh, double crochets make scales five scales you will be having in the last row you had six uh, scales and in this row you will be having five scales you are decreasing so make five scales as we made in this row five scales like this six here but we are making five scales so make this row as five scales in total now we have made five scales see one two three four and five so we have decreased from six to five now what i am going to do is i am going to make one more increase chain one and one single crochet next four stitches one two three four and again two single crochet together five total stitches we will be having after this round will be 25 
so after that I six seven eight eight nine and then two together ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and two together fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and two together twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four and two together twenty five oops twenty five slip stitch in the first stitch now see its mouth is getting narrower right now after that twenty five stitches we are going to make five scales once again but in a smaller way so these small scales how to make it chain three make this V as if we used to make so this time we are not going to make double crochets like we are making five double crochet then V then five double crochet this time we are going to make the mouth narrower so this V we have done now we are going to make two double crochet together see yarn over as usual we make double crochet insert the hook in the first stitch yarn over and pull the loop you have two loops yarn over and pull through first two loops you have two loops over here yarn over insert the hook in next stitch yarn over pull the loop you have four loops in the hook yarn over and pull through first two loops you have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the three loops so in this way you have make a two double crochet together once again one more double two double crochet together yarn over insert the hook in first stitch yarn over pull the loop three loops in the hook yarn over and pull through first two loops you have two loops in the hook yarn over go in the next stitch and then yarn over and pull through the loop you have four loops in the hook yarn over and pull through first two loops you have three loops in the hook yarn over and pull through all the three loops this way i have done two double crochet together so one v and two two double crochet together that is two a one v by making two double crochet together uh, two double crochet in the same stitch and one a means two double crochet together in next two stitches so this way this is in uh, decreasing our uh, stitch count so again make a v now that is two double crochet in the same stitch now make a a like two double crochet together one time and two double crochet together second time also so two a i have done now in the next stitch make a v in next two stitches make a in next stitch make a v and in next two stitches two double crochet together again one two double crochet together right in the last uh, sequence of this make a v and last four stitches you have in first two stitches make one uh, double crochet like this and in the last stitch make two double crochet together like this right and again making scales now this is the way we are going to make small scales how to make small scales let me show you this is the making of scales is different from till now we have done these scales how to make it like i am making slip stitch in the 
chain three loop right now how to make the small uh, these uh, um, scales chain two we used to start our scale with chain three now we are going to start with chain two this is considered as our first half double crochet so one more half double crochet in the same loop two have been done now rest three i am going to make three double crochet one two three right three double crochet chain one and turn your work and uh, again follow the same sequence in the second loop of your v what we are going to do is three double crochet one two three double crochet and two half double crochet this time i am not going to make chain one because we are decreasing our stitch count so again yarn over and find out the next v this is the v skip this first a skip the second a and go to the v and hold the first loop and start making the same sequence half double crochet half double crochet and three double crochet one two three chain one turn your work in the second loop second loop make three double crochet one two three and two half double crochet do not separate two scales with chain one this time i am not making chain one because we are going to decrease the stitch count and close the mouth and yarn over and find the next v skip this stitch skip this stitch go in this v and hold the first loop and then yarn over and make a half double crochet so two half double crochet in the loop and three double crochet one two three chain one turn your work to this side and this loop hold it and work in this three double crochet one two and three double crochet two half double crochet one two again skip next a two a and then go in the v follow the same sequence two half double crochet three double crochet one two three chain one turn your work to this side of this row this uh, loop three double crochet one two three double crochet and two half double crochet and last v is left this is a scale and these two a i am going to leave this v i am going to work and these two a are hidden at the back so this v last v is left so yarn over and make a half double crochet one more half double crochet three double crochet one two three chain one and make the same sequence in this second loop of v, uh, v one double crochet second double crochet third double crochet and make two half double crochet in the same stitch so this is your small scale and make a slip stitch in the chain three of a uh, chain two of the starting oops like this this way the mouth is getting that much narrower this wool is thicker uh, it was also four ply acrylic yarn but this wool was thicker one 
this wool is also four ply acrylic yarn but it is a bit thinner one so that is why the same um, stitches are there same exactly same method is there but sizes like this so in this way you can decrease the size by um, differentiating with the thickness of the yarn now after making this scale what we are going to make is chain one and now we are going to make one single crochet in each of in each stitch total stitch count should be 40 1 2 3 now no decrease no increase 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and in the last stitch in the last stitch make one single crochet that is 20 oh it's getting slip stitch only so 18 19 and 20 so total stitch count is 20 slip stitch in the first stitch right at this point of time I'm going to make uh, I'm going to stuff the fiber filling in there so let me hold the st stuffing okay now stuff your pine cone with the fiber filling in there and uh, stuff in small quantity so that your project holds the shape stuff it properly do not over stuff it do not loosely stuff it else its shape will not get properly done like uh, as a pine cone the choice of yarn is yours the hook you have to choose accordingly You can make with the cotton yarn also. I am making with the acrylic yarn. So your pine cone is almost stuffed. See, it's getting shape. Now we have 20 stitches in total. Now we are to going to close its mouth. How to close it? Now we are going to make two single crochet together every time. But we are going to work in back loops only. Right? So making two single crochet together. Take the back loop of first two stitches and make a single crochet. why it's getting so tricky one we have to make decreases in the back loops only we are working in the back loops only and we will be working till uh, decreasing till we are left with five stitches only right keep on decreasing until you have left five single crochet only. 
Till then, keep on making two single crochet together. Why I am working with back loops only? Because when you are work, uh, working with back loops, the front loops are not worked. And those loops creates a kind of a rim or a design. So it gives a look of pine cones. The top of pine cone. Working in front loops is easier than working in uh, back loops right so i am going to keep on decreasing until i will be left with five stitches you have to keep on decreasing only the back loops you can work with the front loops only but giving uh, an edge like this this row like as your scale has been broken over here this uh, gives an effect like this so that is why we are working in the back loops only and working in back loops two stitches together till you reach the stitch count of five stitches only Currently I am left with 10 stitches. Again one more row of decrease. Like this. Only the back loops. only the back loops of the single crochets so how many we are left with one two three four five six seven so one more time let me see the decrease and then I'll see if it is five or not we have to reach the stitch count of 5. Back loop of first stitch, back loop of second stitch and then yarn over and pull through the loop through it making a single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So one more time then our stitch count will become five right now now my stitch count is five see one two three four and five one two three four and five so total five stitches now I'm going to work in one single crochet in each of the five stitches for four rows right so first row with one thing oh, now I'm going to take both the loops together I'm going to make the this stem stem part so for that one single crochet in first stitch second third fourth and fifth right this is our first row like this make four rows so in total three more rows with one single crochet in each of the stitches to make the uh, stem and at the end make a slip stitch to finish it off now made four rows with one single crochet in each of the stitches and this stem has been done and now your pine cone is ready two pine cones beautiful crocodile stitch pine cones made with acrylic yarn you can make with cotton yarn as well and the hook you will use according to the thickness of your yarn so 
hope you like my video on making this beautiful amigurumi of making a pine cone you can open the shells like this to make it look more original like a pine cone i like this this way so your pine cone is done like this you can also open it up the texture of yarn gives the look to your project so it's a bit soft one so that is why it's not getting that much up but it's getting like this it's opening its scales are opening so hope you like my video on making this beautiful project on pine cone please give it a thumbs up please like share and subscribe my channel and uh, if you have any queries please write in the comment section and uh, write your valuable comments how you like my videos if you have any suggestions your comments your valuable suggestions are always welcome and it really uh, makes my videos more better than the earlier one so uh, and also press the bell icon for getting each and every uploads update whenever i'll upload upload my new video you'll get notification in your phone in your laptop in your uh, computers and uh, thank you for watching my video thank you once again